Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel and welcome to your general love reading for the second half of October 2022. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Virgo, either for yourself or whether you're cross-watching. And it is a general reading, so that does mean that the roles can be reversed and it also does mean that it's not going to resonate for everybody. So if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. All right, let's see, Virgo, what is going on with you? That first card that we got out to start off your reading is Purge. All right, so stuff is coming to the surface. Emotions are coming to the surface. Um, it could even be that you or the other person might even be having some crying spells or just feeling very emotional and this is because things need to come up to the surface to be purged out so let's actually see what is happening here for the situation we have the two of pentacles crossed by the eight of wands all right somebody is juggling here um probably with a little bit more than what it is that they can handle i actually i feel like this is really interesting because i think it was for taurus where we had these exact same two cards out except they were the other way around it was the eight of wands crossed by the two of pentacles or something similar to, to that if i'm not mistaken um so yes it, it so it's slightly different for you where i feel like somebody is juggling a little bit more than what they can handle right now um so it could be that there are two different energies at play here or maybe multiple energies at play here and this is something that is holding them back from being able to take action forward or to even communicate if you're not in communication um i'm also getting that for some of you there may have been some kind of contact where or there is some kind of contact um coming up here depending where this communication actually leads to a little bit of okay i don't know what to do about this now so let's see for the recent past we have the three of pentacles yeah it definitely does feel like um for that for some of you at least there is another person or another energy that is involved here okay um, what I'm also getting though recently is that if you did have some communication that it felt like, okay, you know what, maybe we can work this out. Maybe we can work together and figure something out, or maybe, you know, you were working on a project together or, or something along those lines. Okay. So that was at some point in the past here. Let's see for your energy. We have the nine of pentacles and the king of swords. So... This is actually, it looks pretty positive for you, Virgo, because I feel like, you know, you are either detaching, but in a way where it's in the good way, so that you are feeling independent, you are feeling um, like you can just, you know, rely on yourself and just not feeling a codependency with this person and pretty much just feeling good about your own self. And it does feel like this energy is actually coming in with a lot of willpower and with a lot of determinism but let's see for the other person we have the fool and we have the two of cups all right interesting it's looking positive for them as well um but then you know we're gonna clarify so we'll see what actually is happening here because that purge i mean it's somewhere here it feels like this person is actually like <clears throat> Feeling like they want to take a, a, a risk here. Feeling like they want to take a leap forward towards love. So let's see what else for what is coming up for you. We have the lovers. Okay, so some of you might be dealing with a Gemini. Um, and for them, we have temperance. Okay, some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. So even though you're um, becoming more self-reliant and more independent you're not completely shutting love out so i feel like you're finding like this really nice balance in terms of love and in terms of a love connection um and for them it looks pretty very positive as well i feel like you know they're also finding some kind of balance here for whatever their issue is okay so 
feels really general. Let's clarify so we can get some more details here. Let's see what is going on. All right, so for the two of pentacles and the eight of wands, let's see. Three of pentacles and three of cups. You know what? I'm just going to say this. I really feel like there's a third party involved. And again, it doesn't have to be a person. It could be work um, or it could be an addiction or it could be, you know, an obsession. It could be anything. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, quite a bit of threes here. Um, <laughs> really close to that two of pentacles. So yeah, it's. I'm actually going to get one more here. The two of wands. Okay. So whoever this is, whether it's you or them, I feel like this is the person who is trying to find a way to balance both energies and to actually maintain both energies, trying to see, you know, how can we all work together? Like, how can this work out with all of us being, um, I don't know, like one happy unit or, you know, just both of these energies coexisting in some way, in some way. Um, simultaneously so depending on your situation that might be like a very negative thing okay like especially if it's like you know another romantic partner like you know unless that's what you want then you know obviously this would not be something positive positive. and then in other cases it's not with bad intentions like if it's work for example or if it's um, you know like in terms of co-parenting for example with an ex-partner you know it could be that as well so don't be quick to judge <laughs> Um, but I'm seeing that this is somebody who is trying to see if they can make it all work and that, you know, can't we all just get along and can't we all just be happy together and why do we need to make, um, changes? Can't this just work somehow? And I kind of feel like, you know, it, it, that's creating some issues. Like it's just not, it's, it hasn't happened yet. This is just what this person is thinking and they're juggling it. And I, I just feel like it's kind of keeping things from moving forward. Let's put it that way. Let's see this three of pentacles in the recent past. The fool and the magician. So it's the second time we're getting the fool. I am getting a strong Aries vibe as well. So some of you might be dealing with an Aries. Definitely let me know in the comments. Um, whatever this is that happened here in the past where it's like, okay, trying to make things work, trying to find some kind of a mutual consensus, I feel like, yeah, you know, somebody tried really hard to make that work. Um, and I do feel like that was also kind of risky. And I actually feel like, you know, I don't know if it really worked out. I don't feel like it did, but... Let's see, let's see what's happening now. I mean, maybe it did. Let's see, nine of pentacles for you. Seven of pentacles and the hanged man. Okay, so you're still working on this. Um, you're still kind of, <clears throat> you know, working on your own sense of independence from this. So, so actually, that's like kind of what's showing me that, you know, something possibly didn't work out because I feel like, you know, you're not, not that you're completely removing yourself. Maybe you are. I'm not seeing that just yet, but you're definitely though, like detaching in some way. And I feel like this is a work in progress where you're still kind of like putting all the pieces together and figuring it all out. So I feel like basically what well, actually what you are doing is you're kind of taking a step back here. You're taking a step back from the situation and trying to put together something, something else for your own self and figuring out, okay, you know, how can I work or function independently from this, whatever, <laughs> from whatever that is. Um, which is involving, you know, other energies. 
Let's see the King of Swords. The Six of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Yeah, you're basically looking out for your own self. I feel like, you know, you don't, it's almost like, you know, you don't want to be, you don't want to work as a team here. There's something else that you want. Um, and again, it just really depends on the situation. But I see you, you know, being like firm and, you know, just really putting forth your own, your own beliefs. Pretty much being like, you know what, I'm going to look out for my own best interest here. I need to do what I need to do for me and not for anybody else. So I feel like you're just being very, very mindful of how much you are consenting to and what you are willing to give and what you're not willing to give depending on what you feel you are also getting out of this situation. So no idea what might be going on here. Virgo, but that's, that's the energy I'm seeing. Let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's see the Fool. The King of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this person is just still really focused on, you know, um, seeing how something can be done differently or seeing how something can be done in a way where I don't know, I, I feel like, you know, there's a part of them that's still wanting to make this initial idea or this initial thought successful. But I feel like, again, like, it's, like with that Two of Pentacles being in the main situation, like, you know, it's too much for them to handle. It, it's, it's whatever this thing that they're trying to achieve is, it's like it's creating some difficulties. It's not easy. It's, I feel like it's just not as easy as they, they thought it would be. And like, it's just harder or it they have to work harder at it um something along those lines let's see the two of cups the five of cups and the page of cups there's the purging that's who's purging it's the other person here unless the roles are reversed um yeah, because the, whatever this idea is that they had or whatever this action is that they took, which may have even been a little bit, I don't know, just risky, maybe a little bit reckless, maybe just something a little bit like, okay, like, what are you thinking? Um, whatever that is, it is creating sadness for them because it doesn't have the result that they, you know, thought it would. And I do feel like, you know, they're actually grieving um, a loss of this connection with you in the way that it once used to be or in the way that it could have been. Yeah, so they're really deep in their feels, all right, coming up here. Possibly even feeling regret for whatever this is that happened here in the in the recent past, which again is is involving somebody else or something else. So let's see the lovers for what is coming up for you here or for the message for you. And we have the Hierophant, okay, so Taurus and the Ace of Wands. You're, you're just open to love overall, but I feel like, you know, you're open to love, but in the way that you feel is right for you. You just want to stick to what it is that you believe and to your own virtues and your own values concerning love. And that's what I see you doing. So you're open to that. Um, so I don't feel like, I don't necessarily see you being closed off to this person. I just feel like you're closed off to whatever um, dynamic they're bringing to the table. You're closed off to that, but not to the person as long as you know if this person can come back in in a way where it's in line with your own values so let's see temperance for them we have the chariot okay so cancer also showing up and the ten of swords Ooh. all right things could go either way here wow 
Um, I mean, like I said, this person is purging. That's where it is. I see you, you know, you're, you're fine. <laughs> you're actually doing great. You're like, I mean, I'm not saying it's easy, but I feel like for the most part, you know, you're just like finding yourself. You're like, you know what? I'm taking a step back. Like, I know what I want. And, you know, I have the willpower to maintain that. And, you know, this is what I want. This is what I don't want. So I'm open to it. And whatever happens, happens. Whereas for the other person, you know, it's like they're grieving here because they didn't, get things the way that they thought or the way that they wished for. Um, I feel like they're kind of grieving, possibly even the fact that you are like, you know, being like so independent and, and detached. So I do see them finding this balance and I do see them healing and I feel like it's going to happen kind of quickly. Like there's this like movement, movement, quick movement towards healing, but it only comes with, you know, this painful ending that they're having to feel. So that they can, you know, so that all these emotions that they do have and this love, you know, it can come up and then they can, you know, figure out what exactly it is that, you know, they should do about it or what it is that they want. I mean, I feel like they already know what they want. They just need to realize that, hey, you know, you, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Or, you know, sometimes you just really gotta, you know, sometimes compromise <clears throat> in a particular way. So anyway, all right, that is it, Virgo. Um, thank you so much for watching and much love.